what is up guys today i'm going to be playing control i played it a little bit already but the game kept crashing and i kept having issues with sound and hopefully i can enjoy the whole game without the game crashing or uh encountering issues and shit like that hope you guys enjoy this is gonna be weirder than usual can't be helped you called me so here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like, we live in a room, and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room, and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. It's something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Cool. Let's go into this room over here. Even though there's nothing there. Documents. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. While well, running to sprint. Nothing in the bathroom. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. More documents. This guy is creepy. Excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. Janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they are irrelevant. Their people work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. 
The sound in this game is dope as fuck. Sounds really good. It's immersive. Oh, I'm in the same. Okay. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I'll try. Now, now we get a little movie intro. Second intro, I guess you could say. Control. Did I lose you there for a moment? Yes, you did. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Nothing over here. Oh, there's papers. More papers. He dead now. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Okay, let's pick up this weapon. of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Training session. He didn't know. The same guy. He got shattered. Control everything. Oh fuck. I completely forgot. I completely forgot 
that I had to kill these people first before I go ahead. You know, I don't know what those are. I really don't know what those are. Oh, this motherfucker almost got me. He did now. Die, bruh. They all dead? Yes. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy things have quieted down outside is it safe to go <clears throat> hopefully safe to go no this shit I didn't stop shit. That was horror. Still can't go through there. Now I can destroy shit. That was nice. Nice explosion. The hotline. Secure line of communication. They dead now. Oh, there's more motherfuckers. Open the safe over here. His 
hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. More debt, motherfuckers. The babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Die. Come on, bro. Where you be? He's almost dead. Where you be, bro? This game is so fucking cool. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? Yep, I can hear you. happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, uh, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. What the fuck is a hiss? You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. Uh. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. I got I powers, like motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. 
Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay. Now she is dead. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. What the fuck is the hiss? Is it just a sickness? Illness? Games be looking like movies more and more. Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. 
there are no stupid questions. The door to the constable. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay, this trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? I bet she did. Got it. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. What the Weakness. fuck is he happening? Them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. I'm going to explore. Let's do first floor first. Again, a welcome message. What the fuck does it say, though? I don't understand it. Okay, I gotta kill these motherfuckers over here. Die, bruh. He dead now. What you gonna do about it? Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me to that. Too much hiss.
the old dade okay let's go inside this safe over here is there more people i hear a lot of voices talking to me oh no bro come on open up oh i gotta make it i gotta make it i gotta make it Okay, wait for my health. I don't heal. I don't think I heal. I think I might die. Oh, uh, fuck. I died. What the fuck is up there? Okay, dead ladders. This game is dark as fuck. And motherfuckers coming for me. Reload, 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 reload. Reload, reload. Come on. You dead now, bitch. Who's next? People die quick in this game. Oh, fuck. Can't open that door. Nope. Not this one. Nothing over there. More health? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Personal mod. How do I use the mods? More papers. Okay, he's dead now, he's dead. Cleanse this motherfucker. Another vision? Yeah, I think another, oh no, no, no. Another little movie. Just look at it. Eight inches wide. Floppy disk. That shit is old as fuck. Eighty kilobytes. <laughs> stolen by our friends at the CIA. The disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically Oops. through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. All right. I'm guessing that guy is going to keep coming out in the game. I think it's this way. Hmm. 
Another chest. Motherfucker dead. Passed out. Let's go inside this first. Pick up some papers, some documents. Energy recovery. Oh. Object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. I gotta get all the way up there. I might go I might go through here. Oh no, I can't go through there. Fuck. Run. More chest stuff. Material. I want to get more muds, more slots for the muds. Object of power. I just gotta approach it and cleanse his motherfucker. The floppy disk has powers. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like channel's been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. That's cool. I gotta keep doing it? No? Oh, okay. It already came up over here. So now I got the power of... I don't know what it's called. These motherfuckers dying quick. They dead now. Let's go. That wasn't hard. So I got powers from a floppy disk. You were gone. Cut off. No, I wasn't. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. This motherfucker's gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. That is great. That shit takes his almost. Oh, his life. He dead now. I think they're all dead. I'm gonna just jump down over here. 
That was cool. Oh, fuck. Die, bitch. Okay, now where do I go? Any more motherfuckers out here? Okay. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Who do I gotta kill? No one. Okay. Oh, I guess. Oh, what the? Where? Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You're dead now, bitch. Okay. Get another chest. I forgot, wait, what? Clearance level one. Okay, that was, that's cool, that's cool. Another save. That's so cool, you can grab shit and just throw it. You're listening to America overnight. It's so funny how you can't destroy this. But you can destroy concrete. Or shatter concrete. How do you make it through this fucking blue shit or purple shit? He dead. Come on, bitch. Show the fuck up. I guess he's the boss. Where are you? You did now. Oh fuck, there's another one. Where's the other one? What was that? It. I think that was it. Another chest. More papers. <laughs> Think I do. Oh, fuck.
I don't get it. Yeah, I think I gotta go. Oh, what the fuck? I can hide in here? No. Let me go down here. Maybe there's something here that I missed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I guess I'm not supposed to go up there yet. Fuck. What the fuck? You dead now, bitch. Okay. Oh, motherfucker. Where are you? Die. What's happening? What's happening? More people coming? Fuck, man. Dead, bruh. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. More? There's more people coming? I hear shit. I'm hearing stuff. Yeah, I guess I gotta go through this door. Oh, what's happening? They can fly now. Motherfucker keeps dodging. Okay. Oh, I can grab him? I can grab the motherfucker. So can I grab anybody else? Oh, fuck. There's someone on top of me. Oh, no, no, I can't grab him. Is he dead? Okay, he escaped. I hear that. 
feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Gotta get to the fucking hotline. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up. There was people here when I was fighting that motherfucker. There was people trying to shoot me. And I think there was one guy who was supposed to be supposed to have a shield. Oh, this oh, okay. So now I can go through this door. Oh, it's my birthday. I forgot. <laughs> I'll remember just so you can tell me, but I really just forgot. All right, take this down. I got you. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. Cuba, I am Cuban. Illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds that all tonight and we show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? The hotline can't be far now. I hear the hotline. Let's go. Unless I gotta fight more people. Hotline chamber. Online security log. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. Light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Okay. been here before this game is trippy trippy no. trippy i've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream hello anyone here i guess not no one in this bitch. The key has a black pyramid on it. Okay, so what starts over? Janitor. Okay. Maybe it's for this door over here. Is that a photograph of her? Okay. Not creepy at all. Oh, there's also a pyramid right there. Is there a secret here? No, nothing. What about the last one? All the lights are blue. Okay. Yeah, we finally got to the hotline. Another challenge. OK. 
Okay. Oh fuck, he's following me. So I guess I gotta make it follow me. Run, 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 run. I gotta do all this shit just to speak, to pick up the phone. connect to any typical network a direct line to the astral plane and the board and my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well to different dimensions a director needs a team my management team these people know the secrets of the bureau as well as I do some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Nosebleed. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. This is cool. It's like in the air. Will react strongly. Floating. When I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. Also, let me know what you thought about the gameplay down in the comments. See you guys next time. Peace.